guys welcome back to the channel it has been a while going on two months um so yomar is going to be two months on march 3rd and basically i'm just gonna go ahead and do like a mini update on him and stuff so he is really really fat he's getting really really fat and healthy of course um he, right now he's sleeping so i'm not gonna wake him up um but when he does wake up i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys him and stuff um he does smile like whenever i'm talking to him or whenever i say good morning i always say that like whenever it, no it doesn't even have to be morning like it could be nighttime and i'm like good morning and then he just smiles he goes like like it's so cute um but he smiles he knows who i am and who his dad is and whenever i'm walking around or something and my dad or my mom is holding him he just stares like when i'm walking he just stares like that's my mom <laughs> but it's so so cute um and so, oh, so it has been so long since I've videoed um, anything. So, okay, so his appointment this month, his second appointment was on January 1st, right? I mean, January, February 1st. Well, I had, he had really bad acid reflux. Like, he used to, like, suffocate himself, like, three times a day, he would actually, like, I would just be, like, hearing something, and then I would go look at him and check him, and he's over there trying to breathe, and he has, like, throw up in his nose and his mouth, and, like, we'll try to pat him, and he would not breathe for, like, I swear, no kidding, like, a minute or two, like, we'll blow on his face and stuff like that, and it got bad, and it like it progressed worse and worse like it started happening two times a day three times a day so um they even got to the point that i i had to call 911 because we were all alone and it was just me my husband and my nephews i was taking care of my nephews he was on his swing and um my nephew of course i'm always paying attention to him like i always pay attention to him but this time he was i was sitting down and the swing is right in front of me and my nephew was like oh yomar is moving so when i turned around and i looked at him well not turn around but when i looked at him i seen him like stretching like about to fall out of the swing so i got freaked out and i went to check on him because i thought he was like like trying to come out and i was like what the hell he's so young to be having that much strength so when i come up and i see him he's already he's suffocating like he has to open his nose he can't breathe and he's like, trying to gasp for air like he's gasping for air when i tell you that i freaked out i'm telling you i freaked out like you have no idea like literally freak, freaked out i grabbed him and i started patting him on the back i tried not to freak out because it happened before and i was like in my mind i was like calm down because like i have to be prepared for this like i have to like calm down but it was like in a rush like i felt like he couldn't breathe for like five seconds and then i'm over here patting his back and i screamed out to my husband and i had a call 911 he was not breathing for like i swear not kidding two minutes and 911 came they said that it's normal but i'm a first time mom and i don't care if because he really couldn't breathe like i understand it's normal to breathe out um to to throw up from your nose and from your mouth and stuff like that i understand that but when a baby cannot breathe for two minutes that's a concern to me so I just took him to the hospital, they prescribed him some Zantax, and that helped out, but then I made the appointment, his uh, second appointment, sooner, so um, I made the appointment, they told me it could probably be the milk, so I changed, so they changed the milk to A&R, Infamil, 
A&R, which has like cereal already inside the milk. It's like a more thicker milk that could stay in his stomach for a long period of time. So they gave me a test of that and it worked out perfectly fine. And that's why I've been giving him right now and he loves that milk. It fills him up more. And he has not been thrown up since that last time. That like, call I when they prescribed me the Zantac. He has not done that, thank God, anymore. And that was so scary, guys. Like, seriously. I used to get pissed. I was going to depression, like postpartum depression, because I was like, I feel overwhelmed with all these things happening, you know? But... Everything has been better so far um, with him also. And yeah, um, as of me, um, today I'm going to go ahead and get my next plan on, my birth control, because I am not planning on having another baby. I am so not planning on having another baby. Like, until like maybe, I right now I don't even think later on. I'm going to have another baby. But the next one is for three years. So um, I'm able to get it redone um, in case I do want to not have a kid in the next three years. So I like that. Right now I'm taking birth controls. So, but today my appointment is going to be at 2.30. So I'm going to probably vlog that as well. I just think I'm going to vlog throughout the day. But yeah, guys. Um... It has been really, really hard. Um, like, I love my son and everything. But it has been really, really hard. I suggest people who are not trying to have kids to not have kids. Because I love my son. Like, don't get me wrong. I love my son. I love him with all my heart. I would not regret him. I love him, but it does get hard, and especially how things are going on now in this world with um, Trump and all of this shit, like, going on in this world. It's like you're bringing a human being and to this world, and you know how hard it is yourself. Like, I know how hard it is in this world myself, and I'm bringing somebody in this world to suffer as well, you know? But I love him, and I'm going to give him the best that I can give him, um, of course. But just wait, if you can wait, <laughs> to have another baby, or to have a baby. Um, but yeah, I don't regret my son. He's the best thing that's ever happened to me. It's just, I just don't want to see him suffer, you know? But yeah, guys, um, oh, yeah. So I, I'm not working as of right now, of course, I'm here, <laughs> not doing shit, but I'm not working right now, but I did take my dental um, dental assisting course, um, I think I told you guys a long time ago on one of my vlogs, I was taking a dental assisting course, um, and I finished the course while I was pregnant on November of last year. And I had to do my hours, but since I was pregnant and I was already so far along in my pregnancy, I did not finish the like the hours that I had to finish. So I went ahead and I was taken after I had Yomar like two or three weeks ago, two weeks ago, I was doing my hours and I'm missing only one hour and 20 minutes, which sucks because... I'm like, why can't these people give me my goddamn hours? You know, it's only one hour and 20 minutes I'm missing. And then I could go ahead and skadoop to another job, you know, and get paid. But I'm not rushing right now. Yomar is still young, and me and my husband are doing fine, you know. Um, I do live with my parents now. Um, it's just been helping us out a lot. We've been able to save a lot. We've been able to, you know, do what we got to do. And this time, I'm not going to rush myself. I'm going to do what I have to do, what we have to do. We're going to keep saving. We're going to keep doing what we got to do. And hopefully, later on, we 
get where we want to go, you know, how we're helping, I'm helping my husband build his credit, and that's something that's very important, because without building up your credit, you're not going to be able to go anywhere in life, <laughs> not anywhere in life, but you're not going to be able to, like, get a house, or do anything, like, get a car, or something like that, you know, so with my husband, since he has two jobs, two years of work history, he's going to be able to go ahead and build up his credit. And hopefully, in the long run, maybe, maybe we are able to get a house, you know. Um, we're also going to be taking these um, hours for uh, first-time home buyers, And they should give you, like, they give you, like, uh, an amount of money for the down payment of the house. So, me and Kaito, me and my husband are going to go ahead and we're going to do our best to try and get this house, you know? But if we don't, then we don't, and we're just going to keep trying. But so far, everything has been working out fine, and that was just a, a little mini update <laughs> of what's been going on with my life and stuff like that. So, yeah. Oh, and on Friday, today is Tuesday. On Friday, we're going to go ahead and go to Daytona, just me and my husband. And we're going to stay in a honeymoon suite, which is the oceanfront. And I'm so excited because I need vacation. I need something with just me and my husband because it's been rough, you know. <laughs> but my son is going to be staying with my mom just for one day. We're just going to stay from Friday. We're going to go leave Friday. And on Saturday, we're coming back. So, just for one day. And we'll be back, like, around 5 in the afternoon on Saturday. So, I won't be long away. Away long. Ah, uh, how do I say that? I won't be long from being with him. I don't know. <laughs> um, but, yeah, guys. I'm so excited. I might vlog that. But, I just kind of want me and him time so I don't know but I'm gonna go ahead and do this hair and I'll get back to you guys later bye so I said I was gonna videotape the whole getting the next planon and all that guys it's already been four days since that last clip you guys just seen like it's already Friday that last clip was Tuesday I need to get it together. Um, I just don't know how to vlog, like how to like, it's like not just sit here, like actually vlog my whole entire day. It's like weird to me. I don't know. I don't know. But this is for me. Not a lot of people watch these videos. These are just my memories. Um, Yomar is here sleeping. Um, and yeah, today is going to be a very productive day. I'm going to go outside. Today is going to be a very productive day. Um, me and my husband are going to Daytona. Ew, it feels pretty damn good out here. It feels pretty damn good. But we're going to Daytona today. I am so, so happy. Um, we're just going to stay there for a, a day. I told you guys and yeah so I have to go finish up my hours too I have to go finish up my hours at 1 and my husband got to get his hair cut he has to go do a lot of things and I have to go to the bank and then around 3 to 4 uh, my mom comes out of work and then I'm just gonna go ahead and drop Yomar off at her well bring him here and she's gonna stay with him till tomorrow i'm so excited because me and my husband do need this like you have no idea like the change that you and your like significant other go through when you have a child it's not like it's just it's just like i want to communicate i want to have a day for just me and him you know and that's not wrong um, sometimes I think, like, is that wrong? Like, should I be thinking that way? But it's normal. That's something, like, you do need time with your husband. Um, that's just normal. 
but I don't know. I guess since it's my first time having a child, like, I don't know what to feel and how to feel it. Like, maybe I think the things that I think are wrong, but they're not. They're, norm they're normal. Um, sometimes, like, I have postpartum depression because I get so mad and, like, I feel so frustrated, but it's normal. And these are things, like... Your hormones are still going. I mean, Yomar is three months today. Happy birthday, Yomar. Um, he's three months. And, like, three months? <laughs> My bad, guys. He's two months. I'm sorry. I, I was like, three months? Damn, time shit. Time just flew by. No, he's two months today. And I just had a baby. I'm, it's been two months. Um, and I'm still having my hormones go from up and down, like, all around, and I'm bipolar as fuck, naturally, like, that's me, and then now, I'm even more bipolar, so it's even worse, but, yeah, like, it's not postpartum depression, because if it's postpartum depression, I went to my house, to the doctor, and I even told him, I feel like I'm having postpartum depression, and he looked at me, and he was like, you are not having postpartum depression, because you're smiling, you're doing all of that. Postpartum depression is like when you think, like when you are thinking about killing your kids and stuff like that. And whoa, 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 whoa. I will never think about killing my son. Like, you're bringing him into this world to kill your Whoa, whoa. If I was to ever think like that, I would first think about giving him away than killing that is someone that i can't even think about giving him away like mm -mm. no so it's not postpartum depression at all but i don't know it feels really good outside i'm so excited i just want to go i just want to go right 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 now my husband comes out at 12 so and my car is getting changing his their oil my mom is changing the car's oil because she works at Volkswagen where I used to work at so she took my car and she's getting the oils changed and I'm here waiting for her so I can go to the bank and start doing my stuff that I have to do but yeah guys um I'm just gonna go ahead and try try to record like my weekend but this is going to be a lit weekend with me and my husband, so I might not vlog much. I might just vlog, like, the PG things. Is it PG? Like, just normal things, because we are turning up. Like, turning the fuck up. Okay. <laughs> Alright, guys, so I'm going to videotape you guys. I'm, well, I'm going to videotape us on our way over there maybe but just stay tuned because this vlog is not over yet because i'm not gonna end it just like this okay bye